People say, well, hey, doesn't it take millions of years for things to petrify? No, things petrify quickly. There are scores of examples can be given where things have petrified in less than 100 years. Okay? Two horse hoofs were found petrified in Oregon. A petrified water wheel shown here in this picture. Just the minerals replaced the wood. Here's petrified firewood. Here's a fishing reel stuck in a rock. They said the rock was 300 million years old. By the way, if any of you students want to make some money, University of Chattanooga, Tennessee, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, studied this thing, talked to the guy who owned it, and analyzed the whole thing and said, man, this is amazing, a reel stuck in a rock. If you can locate the owner of the reel and get me in touch with him, I want to see if he wants to put it on loan in our museum. And anybody who can find me, the owner, uh, Dan Jones, find me the guy, get me his phone number, and let me talk to him. I'll give you 50 bucks. For fine, do some research. If you have sleuths up here in Tennessee, you want to work on that one. UTC geology experts can't explain this. Why? How could a fishing reel be found in rock? If you go to Waycross, Georgia, they've got on display there at the Southern Forest World a mummified dog stuck in a tree. The dog apparently chased a coon up the tree and got stuck, and the dog is mummified. The tree was still alive. They named the dog Stucky. Here's a petrified cowboy boot with the cowboy's leg still in it. Articles on the table down there called the Limestone Cowboy. Here's a petrified fish giving birth. Here's a petrified hammer found in Hawaii. A petrified hat found in New Zealand. Petrified crayon found in Arizona. Petrified pincushion found in Wisconsin. A guy got found along the, uh, a beach in Montana. I was petrified, petrified man. Here's a story about a petrified man uh, in Gainesboro, Tennessee. The guy died in 1881. They buried him. Fourteen years later, they were going to bury his wife next to him when she died. They dug a hole for Grandma's grave, and water seeped into the hole, into the grave. They said, oh, we don't want to bury Grandma in the water. So they buried Grandma someplace else. Then the kids got worried about Grandpa buried in the, in the water. So they dug up the grave. The body inside had turned to stone, except the arms had rotted off. The rest of the body had petrified in 14 years in a coffin in Tennessee. The man found in Fort Benton, Montana, was in 1897, found by Tom Dunbar. The guy was five foot eight. Many medical doctors examined it and said, man, this is a petrified, complete human. Not the bones, the complete person, petrified. A lady in Sao Paulo, Brazil, was 62 years old. She went to the doctor and said, I got a pain in my side. The x-rayed her and found a petrified skeleton of a baby inside. She was pregnant and didn't know it. The baby had died and turned to stone inside the woman's body. It does appear the baby was about to be born, the doctor said that examined her. I talked to a guy from Maryland. He said, yeah, I drove the ambulance. We took a woman to the hospital one time in Snowden, Washington. There's his phone number there if I talk to Brian. He, she said, uh, she was taken to, he said she was taken to the hospital and they removed a petrified uh, fetus from this woman. It had turned to stone in her body. Here are petrified sacks of flour found in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Here's a petrified pickle found in Montana. This is in my museum. It was found in this jar. The guy sent it to me. He said, Brother Hovind, I found a petrified pickle inside a jar. The lid rusted off. Would you want it for your museum? I said, of course. Who in their right mind would not want a petrified pickle for their museum? There's a petrified toadstool just south of Bloomington, Illinois, in an amazing museum called the uh, Funk Gem and Mineral Museum in Shirley, Illinois. If you ever drive out there, stop and see that place. A kid, this kid in the picture here sent me these petrified acorns. He's seven years old. He said, Brother Hovind, I put, these ac I put the uh, acorns in a bucket of water hoping they would sprout, and I forgot about them. A year later, when Mama found them on the back porch, they had turned to stone in a bucket of water. Petrified acorns. Here's petrified peanut cluster in the Ripley's Museum in, uh, in Florida. Here are petrified charcoal briquettes. We've got them in our museum. Come down to Pensacola and see the petrified charcoal briquettes. Here's what appears to be a petrified coconut. The whole thing is in our museum in Pensacola. Here's the fossilized arm to an octopus I referred to earlier. This is a replica of it. Petrified octopus arm. There's an article in Family and Handy Farm Devices, published 1909, on how to make petrified wood. For centuries, people have known how to make petrified wood so it'll last longer. 